Welcome to Coffee and Bonsai with Tom. Today, we're going to work on my mystery jade. Uh, well, maybe it's a mystery succulent. I'm not exactly sure what this tree is. I'm hoping that um, one of you can, can tell me. But we'll take a look at it and we'll prune it. I have a little bit of experience with it and I'll uh, tell you about that. Uh, but it's an interesting plant and it needs um, some basic styling, which is the goal of today. You can see it. I mean, it's not a bad looking tree. Uh, it has a lot of uh, whorls, you know, where it has a long spindly growth with growth out at the end and then a lot of uh, kind of clusters where you just have all these branches coming out of one spot. And so I want to fix a little bit of that. Um, but you know, it's not a bad, it's not a bad looking tree. We'll zoom in and take a look at it here. It has this interesting green, um, leaves, I guess you'd call it with these red stripes and, um, it's quite sticky, quite sticky. Uh, so I'm just going to start off by just cleaning it up a little bit here and there. Uh, you can see it, these clusters grow in very thick. And I sort of want to get rid of downward growth. And uh, it's kind of a dirty tree <laughs> in that it, um, you know, it sort of loses these 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 leaves in the fall and then quickly regrows them. But it, you know, it just this stuff falls off of it. And as I mentioned, it's sticky and it gets sort of like, I don't know, this husk-like stuff that falls off of it. So I, I sort of like how it looks, but it's definitely not the most hygienic trees so I kind of want to th uh, thin this out you can see the way that it grows um, I mean if you look at the branches right you, from one spot you have about four or five things that come out and normally I would reduce that to two I think I want to reduce it to three in this and see how how that goes although this is one I guess this is one to two it looked like three but it's one to two um, and sort of see how that goes just to, to reduce it but um, yeah, there's just a lot of branches on this tree, and so I want to go around initially and just kind of try to we'll simplify this over time and remove some of these. Um, you know, this uh, tree responds very well to hard pruning. Um, when I brought it in last fall, it had had just growth all over the place from it grows a lot once you get it outside in the... Um, just reduce this in the uh you know in the summertime and then in the fall and when i brought it in i mean it was just like these long branches so i just cut it all back like right down you know right down it took all the foliage off and it quickly generated new foliage so um i think what i'm going to do this is sort of a basic um stylistic pruning i want to do here but i think this summer once this plant gets cooking, I'm going to cut it, cut it back hard and see what happens. You can see here we, uh, um, I'm just kind of thinning out the foliage for now, but I, we will move to, you know, reducing some of this um, trunk and branch complexity because I really want it to uh, look a bit more tree-like. Although, in all honesty, this doesn't look too bad. So I think I've kind of reduced a lot of the thickness of the, the foliage. And, you know, you can see the branches. We have a lot of, um, a lot of duplication. We have crossing branches. I think I really want to simplify that. It almost looks like, um, almost looks like a forest. You know, you can see this tree is kind of in front of um, the four that are behind it. And we have these long, like, Dr. Seuss-like <laughs> branches with foliage way out in the end, which is, you know, kind of just the nature of this tree. Um, so, you know, you sort of want to embrace it to some degree. You know, this is never going to look like a juniper. Um, but I do think I want to, um, you know, reduce some of the duplication and clean up the lines on this and then regrow some of this long stuff. And I think it could be much more compact and charming and be more in line with the size of the pot. So let me uh, take this off. 
So one of my goals is to simplify the main structure of the tree here. You can see many, many places where I go from one main branch, you know, to three or more. So I want to pick the two that I want. In this case, I'll take this right one off and really cutting off the one that doesn't flow. And I may be able to do a cutting with this. I'll check that out. But you can see the growth habit, how it's just sort of a, a world ball of foliage. Um, which I may be able to work with. I just want to get the primary structure of the tree kind of under control here. Um, I think I'll thin this out a bit as well. Um, at least my previous experience, this thing is butted back pretty um, heavily. So I think I think we'll be okay. I apologize. You can probably hear my dog uh, heavily snoring in the background. Um, she just really likes to hang out with me, and she likes to sleep. She has two modes. She's either sleeping or going 100 miles an hour. And, um, you know, I don't even hear it anymore, so um, I apologize. But I assure you, you'll sort of get used to it. So I want to thin this out a bit um, as well, and I think that looks pretty good. So you can see this branch here. I just want to thin... Thin that one out a little. Um, basically just take it down to sort of one node at the top and see what happens with that. Um, and this one you can see needs some simplification. We have quite a few branches there, so I'll just take this one which flows less. The other two really sort of go up and out. And we will continue to work with those. So you can see here this, this primary, it's almost like a tree in front of a tree. And, you know, it definitely has, you know, it goes from one to three. Uh, but, you know, the elephant in the room is, should I even, you know, like, I think I need to do some simplification. It's sort of like we have one tree standing in front of another. And I think the easiest thing is to remove this front one. And I just want to convince myself that that's the way to go, because it does, you know, have some 3D depth um, if I were to to not do that. Um, sometimes it helps. Eh, we're taking it out. He who hesitates is lost. There we go. Um, yeah, I think that's better. That's much better. It, it, it sort of flows better and is much less confusing already. So here again, we have a uh, one to three. Um, I think I'm just gonna cut this one short. I don't know if I wanna take it all the way out cause I sort of would like something in here and we'll see what happens. Um, this tree seems to like to split from one to three or more. Just thin this out a bit to try to convince it to um, grow uh, more uh, down the branch. So we're getting it cleaned up. Um, I mean, if you look at it here, you can see we still have some problems on the right, but we're slowly making our way over. And uh, as I'm looking at this, um, I think, uh, let me just show you, if, if we kind of like, this is kind of what I'm eventually thinking I want. So in the summer, like once this, uh, primary structures established and it really takes off. I'm going to try to prune it back to sort of that profile I just showed. So in the meantime, I'm just trying to, you know, get rid of stuff that is just not going to fit into that. And, and now we come to this right section, which has quite a few problems. So let me just take a look at it here and figure out what flows and what does not. Well, definitely got the low hanging fruit, uh, um, I don't know which one of these I want to keep on the right, but certainly on the left, there's one that sticks right up there. So I think I'm just going to just take that one right out. Yeah, I think that's, that's better. And I just want to pick um, which of these has better flow. I think in the end, uh, the sort of the one, the one that's behind kind of comes up from the trunk and then sort of gracefully arc. So I'm going to take that one that's kind of in front of it 
off because I because uh, I think uh, I think the other one just flows better. Yeah, I think that's that's better for sure. So I'm just cleaning this up a little. Uh, got a little nub there. And I think, you know, this is kind of one to three, but the third one kind of goes out the back. And so I was thinking about cutting it off, but I think that would make the tree, you know, a bit uh, two-dimensional. And, you know, I'm sort of thinking ahead a bit in the summer when I want to sort of profile prune this. I, I probably want a branch kind of going back there. So I think I'm going to leave that for now. So I'm going to just spin it around here and do a few tweaks here and there. But I think we've taken off quite enough. My, as I said, my goal is just to get the primary branches in place and reduce confusion. And we've certainly done that. And we have sort of a nice, uh, much less confusing tree shape now. And I think we'll be in good position to get some back budding and then do some more pruning uh, midsummer. And... Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's definitely kind of simplified and looks uh, kind of like a skeleton at this point. But uh, I think it'll fill in before we know it. And, you know, I, I think, you know, it's just much cleaner looking. And I think even in the short to medium term, this is this will pay dividends and it'll just be a much better tree for, for the changes that we've made here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Give it a little bit of a spin. And... Um, I think that's a wrap. So I want to thank you for spending time with me. And I look forward to seeing you all again very soon.